Just leave your shorts on. Huh? Just leave your shorts on. Put your jacket on. Let's go. Nobody's going to see your pants. And that's he's always late. Always. <laughs> uh, yeah, Andrew. Oh, no, we're with the intro. We have to have to do this. Dude. Andrew. Oh, my God. Seriously? Shoes, too? Dude, dude, it's time. <laughs> what was your excuse last week? Nope. It's worse than a 16 year old girl. <laughs> yeah, let's just go. Dorcas. You're just such a dork. Tell us a little about yourself. Mm. Whoops. <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? How'd you get here? I tried. How'd I get here? You landed. Landed. Yeah. Introduce yourself to the Respecting Perspectives podcast. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Is this started? It, Are we started? It, we have. <laughs> this is it. So, -uh. Destiny is knocking. Nuh -uh. Yes. Really? Uh, hi. Tell them your name. Trisha. Okay. <laughs> Trisha Cornwall. Where are you from? Uh, Pennsylvania. Drexel Hill. Ooh, Drexel Hill. <laughs> Where, Pennsylvania is a big state. Where in the state Southeast. is that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, outside of Philadelphia. Outside of Philadelphia. Okay. Is that where you were raised? Yes. Okay. Drexel Hill. Yep. 30, what is it? 331 Blanchard Road. There it is. Yeah. Yep. Drive by at every opportunity we get. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's a lot of changes. It's nice to go back. Well, right, change is good. Right? Yeah, it is. And then, wait a second, you also lived in Massachusetts? I did. At a time? I did. I just found this out like 15 minutes ago? No, you did it. No, you did it. You knew that. Uh, yeah, I lived up there for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it was nice. It's snowy. It was right? near Darlene. Yeah. Darlene, yeah. who's my aunt? Yes. Hi, Dora. Shout out to Dora. Shout out to Dora. Let's see here. So then from Massachusetts, where did you, um, where'd you go? And then uh, we moved down here to Maryland. Well, to Howard County. Howard County, right? Yes. Hoko. Yes. And then we got married back up home. And then... Uh, Who'd you get married to? What's his name again? <laughs> that guy. Okay, what's his uh, name? Dennis. Dennis. Dennis Corwell. Yeah. I kept calling him Kevin. The first night I met him. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. It was an Irish name. That's all I know. Right. That is a. Yeah. That is, that's like a yeah, first go to. Yeah. Nice Irish name. Hey, Kevy. Yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. And then um, yeah, we moved down here. He worked at. Pan what year Mark. did you get married? Um, 19... Oh, it, it just like a range, circa. You can give me a, like a ten We've year. We've been married for about thirty-eight years. Circa ten, you know. Yeah. <laughs> thirty-eight years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. What about where'd you go to school? Um, uh, Upper Darby. Ooh, Upper Senior Darby. Bay. What's yeah. Upper Darby's um, mascot? A royal. Oh, hey! Shout out to all the royals out there. <laughs> yeah. Upper Darby. Anybody in Upper Darby uh, sees this? Debbie. That'll be probably most of Caroline. our family. Yeah. Right. Friends and family. Friends and family. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Any other school that you want to mention? Uh, no. Okay. Not really. Garrett, okay. Or, no. No. All right. Uh, but I think where 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 did you move after Howard County? 
Uh, we moved to Glen Oaks. That's when you were a baby. Okay, uh, and that's then, when I was uh, born. Yeah, we were there a couple of years, and then we moved to Rowland Avenue. So wait, I was born in Glen Oak. No, you were born in Howard County. Howard County. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm just when Howard County was it. nothing, it was the only little, it was the only hospital. It was little then. Hmm. There's nothing over there in uh, Columbia. Is it still there now, the hospital? Yeah, it's still there. It's, like, massive. I haven't been there for many years. Okay. But, um, yeah, so we spent a lot of time over there. That was fun. And then where after that? I'm, I think I'm, I'm trying to lead you to something. <laughs> where, where we live now? <laughs> well, no, where did we live before we live now? Um, on Roland Domino, Hamden. In Hamden. Grew up in Hamden. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's where I spent most of my uh, life and... Uh, Childhood memories took place in Hamden. Or down the shore. Or down the shore, yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So Hamden, after Hamden, and then now it's uh, kind of Towson, right? Towson. Um, I was thinking that on the way over. I can't, is it Giddings or Govins? Govins. Uh, right. York, York and Northern. So Swallow at the Hollow. Shouts out to... We live across to, the street from Homeland. Maybe I should get them to sponsor <laughs> me. Swallow at the Hollow. <laughs> there you go. Right. Free burgers. I know they have really good um, cool. blue cheeseburgers. Oh, uh, blue! Hey, shout out to the blue cheeseburgers at uh, Swallow at the Hollow. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Maybe let's go it's Monday there. too, isn't it? Isn't that what they do? I don't know. I, I don't think know if it's, it's Monday Mondays nights. or not. It might be. Uh, okay, let's see be. here. Um, you know what? I think that was a good intro. Was there anything else that you wanted to no. let the? No. We call them the RP fam. That's what I call them. Oh. The respecting perspective fam. God. Did you see peep the? Dig it. Did you dig, dig it? it? Dig it. I saw it when I walked in. Yeah, it's cool. I remember um, when, when when I got this for the the first show. Oh, and over and we're we're, test, we're we're putting it up in in, in, in my house and it? in the backyard. Well, no, we put it up in the front room first, and it like <laughs> yeah. just was touching the ceiling, and yeah. like it's falling over, and things are knocking down, and that was <laughs> funny. yeah, and the dog's what? trying to get under it. That was funny. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Gordon. I know it's massive. It's yeah. pretty big. It dude. is. I know, right? Did you know it was going to be this big? I, di I didn't, but I was hoping that it was. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Shout out to uh, uh, Banner, uh, Banner uh, Badger. <laughs> That's what it's Banner called. Badger. That's what it's called. The yep. company? That's what it's called. That's cute. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, I think we should get right into yeah, it. Yeah, let's get to we'll questions. Get, we'll get, let's get, let's get it chopping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... After we after we've talked about your your where you're from and and your schooling and things like that, I just want to I don't know I just want to dig a little bit. Is that okay. okay? Cool. Sure. Okay. So let's see here. What were some of the values that you had when raising me or, or tried to instill me with? Um. Well, I always just wanted you to be nice and happy. Two separate things, not, you know, like a nice person. I always just wanted you to be a nice person, and you are. You're a very nice person. Thank you. Um, and just wanted you to be happy, and you, s you seem to be happy. It's not all about the money. It's not all about all that. I mean, it's nice, mm -hmm. but if you're a nice person, I think that makes, that touches more people. And that's what you want to do with your music. So it, it goes in line with that. And, sure. and you seem happy doing your music, so it's a good place for you. And I think that's all that we can ask. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it's not easy, but... Why do you say that? Because some people, I mean, a lot of people just want to go for the money and go, and they're miserable doing mm -hmm. what they're doing. I mean, you have to take the good with the bad, too, you know? I mean, it'd be great if you could do this all the time and not work, like, a job. I know, right? <laughs> but, you know, you've learned that you need both, you know? To keep, yeah. You need both. So you need that one to keep this one going, so. I mean, and it works out. Do you think a lot of kids or younger generations are kind of missing that part of of you know growing up and and missing the, what part being nice well not just being nice but having you know having to to work for it to have that job 
And uh, then also... Kids these days? I, I don't know. I think that a lot of them are just... It's hard. The internet's made it really difficult. Mm -hmm. Social media. Yeah. Not the internet. I mean, the internet's great. I love the internet. But the, mm -hmm. I also hate the internet. I know, right, <laughs> it's right. It's like, we, it's, it's, you know... We could probably have a whole, a whole Yeah, but I think that the kids like that. these days... Um, I don't know. Sometimes, I, you know, like I was at the supermarket and the girl didn't know how to count out change with mm -hmm. actual change. Oh, no. So, like, so you know, I don't know what they're missing. I don't know what it is that they're missing. Right. But it's, and I, it's not easy for them. I wouldn't want to have a younger child now. That's for sure. It's too hard. It's was there a reason on. why you only had me? <laughs> yeah, aren't you enough? <laughs> no. <laughs> they say you get a good one and a bad one. I didn't want to go for the bad, so I got the good. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. That means a lot. All right, you know what? Let's switch it up a little bit. Top five. Top five, dead or alive. Oh. Oh. Musicians. Bands or, right. like, solo musicians. I guess I... Yeah. I would lose points if I didn't say AWOL. So oh, AWOL. nice. <laughs> <laughs> burr, burr, burr. Yeah, AWOL. Nice. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Um, I like The Cure. I mean, Ooh, the who cure. doesn't like okay. The Beatles? Van Morrison. I just heard ELO again the other day. I like ELO. There's a lot of bands that I like. I'm not, like, I'm sure I've hummed along to Taylor Swift. Don't know. I don't know. I don't follow music Who's like that anymore. Who's your favorite rapper other than me? Oh, I don't, I like, I, I, <laughs> no, I'm not going to embarrass myself. Um, Come on. I, uh, a rapper? For other than me. Snoop Dogg. There you go. <laughs> Shout to Snoop. I don't know. You no, know, good. No, you got rapper. you you got it. You got I it. I don't know any rap. No, good good answers with all the top five. I I remember vividly you <laughs> What? Shoot fly. I remember vividly you listening to all those bands. On the on the you know, th that record player thing. Oh, <laughs> it's up. like Yeah. Yeah, no, we I guess have a lot. Of, we seasoned. always did like a lot of music, though. I always like different kinds of music, though. You yeah. did always have a a player, you know, in the corner with with a bunch of speakers that, and and we mm, occasionally yeah. will go through the your your old like CD list and and yeah, pick they're out fun. Some. It's fun. Music's always been fun. It doesn't matter what it is. Right. Yeah, I was listening to the '40s at work the other day, Marty me and Nanny. <laughs> but that was a lot of fun. You know? I know, it's right? Different. Think about what that means. But I was surprised how many I knew from growing up listening to it. So just like you know, a lot of mm -hmm. the stuff that we played while you were growing up. I don't know so much what you listen to, but you know what we listen to, just like I knew what my parents listened to. So it was fun. I like. I Maybe I'll it. let you hear some of the stuff I listen to. Well, I listen to you. Uh, but I mean, I don't. I don't know. Shout out number know. two. No, oh God, <laughs> no. All right, let's see here. If you could give your younger self advice, what would it be? No specific topics, just kind of your younger self. What would you tell them? Um, I would say to have more confidence in herself. Mm. Um, yeah, just to have more confidence and, you know, do the right thing. I, I mean, I feel like I did for the most part, but saying no, being able to say no and not feel bad. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. You know, and having an excuse, like, no is a complete sentence. Ooh. No. <laughs> But it took problems. me a long time to learn that. I like and I that. still sometimes no is a complete feel good. sentence. No is a complete sentence. Um, she wrote a book or something. No, no, because no. I, I, I no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No. Um, I actually heard Jane Fonda on in an interview say that and I thought it is it's so true. Mm -hmm. No is a complete sentence. But anyway, right. yeah, just more confidence and try everything. Mm. Okay. A little bit of everything, right? Yeah, I didn't try a lot of stuff till I was a little bit older. But I feel like I was kind of the same, like with food and, you know, certain things. <laughs> I was thinking of more like uh, skydiving. Uh, <laughs> skydiving, right. There you, you go. Know, that was fun. I didn't that do that was, until. We, we went skydiving right. over the Poconos. And we didn't, it was you know, her I idea. didn't do that till. She came with that. We didn't do that. And, like things like that. Right. Till later. And I wish I had done them more because it was more fun. 
while we're on you the know. topic, what if what's something on your bucket list that you've you know, I never really had Having, a bucket list. You never, you didn't see no, like, I the never, movie and like yeah. der, like immediately bought the notebook and and started writing. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. Um, I think as things come up, I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, let's try it. Would I do it? Yeah. You know, there's things that you get to a certain point where, yeah, I want to do it, but then I realize that eh, I might not be able to do that anymore. Mm. You know. Why do you say um, that? Why, why wouldn't you be able to do it now? Um, I guess I, one of the things that I probably could do physically, I mean, physically, you know, mm-hmm. getting older, it's not always easy to do yeah. some of the stuff, you know, I'm, I'm not a hiker. Realize that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you better start getting things done then. You better do it <laughs> now before better get you can. Hey, can you do some things for me? Yeah, Thanks. Before you can't do it. That's no, my you're advice. Right. You're do so it right. That's you how you can't. What, why do you and luckily, that? I still can. Knock on wood. Yeah, you can. I can still you do really can. Still pr- do pretty much everything I wanted to, you know. I mean, think physically. about, like, you know, your mom and how old she lived. And, yeah. This you know, is true. I don't do want you... to live that long. But. Well, <laughs> you know, listen, you don't decide that. Okay? Yeah, this is true. All I right. do not. This is true. I All right, let's, let's keep it going. Um, how would you define success and this is a two-parter and do you think it's changed the definition of success has it changed throughout uh time for me personally yeah um yeah i think in i think when you're younger personally i when i was younger um i was more about making the money and you know making as much as I could to save and do this and do that. And then it changes. And money's not everything. To me, time is more important now. Mm. I don't care how much I make, but I like my flexibility in my job. It's okay that I don't make, you know, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars a year. That's fine. But I'd rather time. have the flexibility and, mm-hmm. and be able to do what I want to do with my little mate, my little monies. <laughs> but I mean, no, you know, I think that's it does change after a while. You know, it doesn't money is not as important as it used to be, you know, when you're younger. And so would you so that means you, or would you equate money with success? Um. No, not not really. But like I said, at the time, that was success to me was to make a lot of money. Yeah, and right. And that changes. That's and I mean, success is if you're if you like doing what you're doing. Oh, I've succeeded. I'm loving what I do. Mm-hmm. I'm good at life right now. Everything's even keel. I'm loving it. That's to me success. I don't want to be in the newspaper to be a successful person. I don't mm-hmm. I don't need to do any of that. You don't want TMZ just following you around? Oh god no. <laughs> that would just kill me. God no. No. This is tough enough. Um, I think I saw one out front actually. Yeah. I was like, get the No, I think no, I think so money and success, it, though. I think that's di- I think that's a real personal thing. But right, for every it's different for everybody. I mean, you know, somebody, you know, at the stock exchange, success to them is you know having that really high profile job, mm-hmm. having you know all those things. That is that's their success. That's their definition. It's not mine. So everyone has a different. I think so. Of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I could yeah. agree with that. A thousand percent. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Good answer. Good answer on that one. <laughs> Ten <laughs> points on the board. Let's see here. Um, what are some challenges that you face as a parent? Mm, a lot. Mostly you just want to make sure that you're happy. Not happy, that you're safe. Mm. I mean, I want you to be happy as an adult, as a person. Mm -hmm. But when you're a child, a parent, I just want you to be safe. I just want to keep you in a bubble. Right. (laughs) That goes the same thing when you're old. 
Because remember, I used to say, I just wanted to keep you and Nanny in a bubble. Yeah. I just wanted you to be safe. Mm-hmm. Um, but then think if you're in that bubble, you know, you can't, yeah, I know. You can't see. I know. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. So you, so you, you can only, so you can only kind of, you can, you, that bubble can only last so long, right? right? Well, and then towards, never keep you in a bubble. I mean, right, I guess when you're right. a baby. Yeah, when you yeah. for a little bit, you know. I mean, then you gotta let them go. But mm-hmm. um, you know what I thought about when you were talking about that? You know, there's big balls that people like. Yeah, I like love them in the parks. You see, They're you fun. Have one for a baby. I would do that. You see, Neil, that's one of the things that I'd be like, physical. You know, but like, you know, it has like like a know, sumo wrestler. Yeah, <laughs> I could see just running around the house like banging things over. Oh my With god! With a so helmet on, you gotta have so a helmet. Funny. <laughs> All right, call Shark Tank. Yeah. Do, do, do. Mark. All right, hey, I'll call you back. Um, okay, let's see here. Challenges. Let's go. To, let's. Uh, I want to hear about another challenge as a parent, other than keeping their, um, their kids safe. Well, good education. Definitely want to mm. give them, you know, all that you can education wise, and you know, teach them right from wrong. It's. It's, I mean, it's, you know, you're never, you're never wrong. If you're right, you're never wrong. If it's right, you're never wrong. If it's right, you're never wrong. Isn't that how it goes? I forget how it went, but. Two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah, there you go. That's true. You know? Um, Let's see here. Being right is never wrong. Being right is never wrong. Yeah. Like if you make the right decision. I think it, they all apply it to different, you know, uh, circumstances, you know, as far as being right and wrong, isn't it? But, like, who dictates that, you know? Like, right... It, well, well, doing the right thing is never wrong. Mm, doing the right doing thing. Doing the right, right thing is never wrong. For sure. So, you know, you want to make sure that you, you instill that, you know, right from wrong, mm-hmm. you know, and that, and that you respect people for that. You know, as a child, you have to, you have to have, you have to be your own little person. Mm. But, and it's hard. You can't teach that to a young, young child. Right. That's something that you have to teach them as they're growing up. Or they learn that themselves. They learn how to be an individual themselves, right? I mean, we yeah. in, think about the world we live in today, you know, and individualism and... And I think that's a great thing. It is. I think it's great. I do, but I just don't like it when it's forced upon you. Like, well, you you know, you should be like me. Well, no. Yeah, be your own. Yeah, be your own thing. And your your own and your own definition of it too. You know. Yeah, this is true. As long as you're like back to what you said, you know, you're not you're not hurting anyone, or you're not. Right. That you know. You're doing the right thing, like you said. Yeah. And, you know, again, like, it, just teach them what's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see here. If you could mention one of the more rewarding times during either, like, my childhood or just your life itself, actually. You know, when did you feel like you... You know, you were rewarded with either like a feeling or like, you know, uh, not like a, maybe like a gift or like you want something or what, when did you, at, at any point in your life, did you feel like you, you know, rewarded something? Oh, as a parent? Felt rewarded. Yeah. Oh, when people say, oh, Andrew's such a nice guy or it makes you proud, you know, and it does. I mean, being close to you, you don't always see, you know, every relationship has its every things, side, even, right? You know? But when people from the outside come in and say, oh, my God, you know, Andrew, so I met your son the other day. He's such a nice guy. And I had somebody just say it to me like two weeks ago. Oh, awesome. Again, you know. Who was so, it? Do you want to shout him out? Uh, Do you want to give him a shout out? Um... Probably not. No? Okay. <laughs> I don't All know right. Tell he... me Tell me off camera yeah. and I'll... And I'll uh, yeah, I don't want to do I'll that. I'll thank him. Jeff. His name's well, Jeff. Well, that's nice. That's nice yeah. that, that he's... Oh, yeah. But I've had, I've had multiple. I've had people say to me, oh, you must be so proud of him. You're, you're very thoughtful. Um, you're very caring. And, 
it shows, you know, I mean, you do it just out of the kindness of your heart. Like, especially with young kids. Like when you were, when Nada trusted you to go to Florida with her to be the Manny. I mean, I thought that was such a cool thing. And you really thrive in that atmosphere with, with children and, and old fun. people. And I saw that with, you know, Nanny when she was getting older. Who's our grandmother. Yeah, or my mom. His, her mom. And my when we would go to her assisted living place <laughs> and we would call bingo. <laughs> we were the, bi the Tuesday night bingo callers at the assisted living place. Oh, yeah, that was fun. But it was fun. And, you know, I think you're very, you're, you're kind-hearted. And it makes me proud when people say, oh, you know, well, because think, guy. I mean, and whatever, I've seen, you know, whatever someone says about me, I mean, I get all of my characteristics and traits from you and yeah, dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> there's probably times where you're like, oh, you got that from him, yeah, you yeah. know, or you got that from me. All right, what's one trait that uh, I got from you? Oh, a good one or a bad one? Uh, both. No. A good one. Um, I don't, I don't know. I think, well, I think Donnie has a good sense of humor. So you got, you probably got humor from me. Um, yeah, and then you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, thing, what do you? I don't know. Um, I think, like you said, I, personally, if I were to answer it, it would be your kind-heartedness. Oh, it. that's nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. In the bank. <laughs> In the bank, baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably, I don't know. I think we both tend to wear our heart on our sleeves. Mm. And that's that's not a bad thing or a good thing. I think that's just a fact. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's just that's, some people are like that. Um, probably your finance issue when I was younger. Oh, yeah. You know, you're handling the finances. Mm -hmm. When I was young, like, I was younger than you even. And I, I was just, I, I get your urges sometimes to spend. I still have them and have to control them. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Gosh. We do like to spend. Well, sometimes, I mean, you know, once you get a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, money and. I know. That's, that's why I get it. I'm, I'm, I totally know where you're coming from. And then but you I've broke also, again, and then right. it's like, and you're I've like, also been there. Okay, that's why I'm always what did on I do you. Wrong to, that's why I'm always on you to say, stop spending like that. Don't spend like that. Because well, I've been there, and I know. Tell, tell the kids, put it into yeah, your 401k. In your 401K. As diversify much as you can. your portfolios. <laughs> right. Tell them about all the <laughs> cryptocurrency that you were just <laughs> yeah, stashing yeah. up. Stashed. Dude, she's got a Mattress she's got a refrigerator full of Bitcoin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's keep going. We're on a roll here, on a roll. If you could give some advice to other parents of musicians, what, uh, what's some of that advice? Um, make sure they practice their violin, <laughs> whether they practice it naked or not. <laughs> um, that was always a struggle. And here, only and let's naked. go to commercial. Yeah, right. Andrew used <laughs> Which to do me that. In the background he would only practice his violin if he was naked in, in the other room and we couldn't watch. Oh, that was a crazy thing. Shout out, my song that I just released is called Moonlight, just in case, just so you know. <laughs> God, really? Dude. Music uh, video to come. <laughs> yeah, just make sure they practice and, uh, I mean, you know, don't force them, but... Andrew really wanted to play. His first thing was the violin, and it was by chance. I went up to get my violin fixed, and he saw the little ones on the wall and was interested. Said, "Sure, you want to do it?" And then we oh, was that how it happened? You had a violin, mm -hmm. and then um, oh, I didn't know that. I yeah. Know that. Then we went up to the little shop on the corner right across from St. Thomas. Yeah. Do you remember and what the name of that shop was? I don't, but I still have a little card because oh, the they had a they it's had like Farley's or something, right? Yeah, it was something like that. Something very McFarley's. close to that. Like, yeah. Okay, we have to, we're going to have to do research on that. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh, and then you went to Miss Swiss. Would you like Swiss Miss? Miss Swiss? Swiss Swiss. <laughs> In case you're listening, you uh, are one of the coolest teachers. Yeah, Miss Swiss, she was fun. 
Yeah, she, she was, was fun. It, she was a good teacher. She um, was. Yeah, so so you know, find a good teacher if you if they're really interested mm, in that's a good one. You know, if they really are interested, to definitely pursue it. If they're not, try something else. Or, but I think I think learning a, an instrument is really good on different levels. And it's always nice to have that to fall back on. Mm-hmm. You know, you never know. Yeah. Um, and you've played a lot of instruments, so that's good. Um, and encourage them and support them. I mean, if even if you don't always like their lyrics, <laughs> uh, you should still support them. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, some of their lyrics, you know, like the... Yeah, no, you know, no, 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 some of their like lyrics. Like one words every now and then. <laughs> Sometimes I can't understand them. I think you're lucky there. Okay. All right. All right. Right. Because then you don't know if it's right. If it I don't know what you're saying. Or not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to. I'll have to remember that for the yeah, future. Just encourage and support. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, as far as the, the, what's the one thing? I mean, not everybody knows. You know, your your one thing with with my music I and mean, basically, curse words. So if you're saying something, I guess, that you think that you shouldn't be. And I'll, th- I'll tell you, there was that one, there was one point in my music career where I do remember letting you hear a song. And I expected you to, uh, us to run out of the room with our hands in the air. Oh, and, please, and, 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 do and I ever. Let's start a festival just because of this. And... The first curse word that came up, she said, turn it off. <laughs> and I'm I? like, what, <laughs> what are you talking about? I was like, I just, it just started. You're like, turn it off. Well, that was off. not a good indicator, I, I guess. I, right. don't, well, I don't remember no, what but song it was. It, I turned it off. I walked out of the door and I, I had my head low at first, I will admit. But then it made me really start to use other words instead of curse words. And in that, I was able to flourish, I guess you could say, in a way with the music because there weren't things that were just holding me down. And usually when those words come up, you're kind of like, you know, it's not that you don't have anything else to say, but it's like, Kind of taking the easy route, you know, like... I think it just softens it. And it's, it's harsh. Yeah. Some, some curse words are harsh. Yeah, but I'm not saying I don't say them, but just hearing them over again and over again in the songs, and sometimes it's That's just... That's a good point, actually. It's... it's the opportunity to, yeah. to say something that means something because somebody's actually listening to Yeah, you. I don't know why curse words bother me so much. I mean, it's not like I'm, you know, I don't use them, but... Mm. Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, we'll we'll have to we'll have to know. we'll revisit that one in a few years. Okay. Well, when you're on the <laughs> when we're live, and then when we have our own <laughs> podcast, we have our own podcast. <laughs> yeah. You have to choose every day. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see here. Yeah, cocktail, cocktails. <laughs> We'd have to have cocktails first. Oh, for sure. For sure. Or during. Uh, let's see here. Was there a moment? I don't know if we did. We talk about a moment that that made that actually. When was a moment that you made yourself proud? Oh, uh, well, nothing that it. stands out. But I mean, you know, I, I just left outside in minus thirty two do thirty two degree weather. Oh, that was pretty. Nice. <laughs> that, that made me proud. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, Dee. probably at the time though you were die. like, what are we doing? yeah, it was cold. It was cold. I'd never but then been after that, that you kind of you're like, then you get used to it. You what? dress right, you're good. But I was proud I didn't like cry and come home. Right. Yeah. Stood your ground. Yeah, it was cold. With the huskies. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Where? Tell them where you were. Uh, it's in the Yukon. Up in the Yukon. Uh, volunteered for the Yukon Quest uh, dog mushing. It was a lot of fun. I remember you having a lot of stories and we did. photos with it. What we were proud, when I'm proud, nothing. I mean, 
Maybe I'm what not, about like, like when that. you were I'm a kid? What about when you were? I'm not. I'm just. You <laughs> yeah, know. you are. Dude. I like You're the, the most exciting blending. thing in my life. You, you brought me here. It, it, you, that that might oh, be the most exciting thing ever. I don't know. You're underestimating your power. Oh, uh, well, that's nice of you to say. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going, okay? We're almost done, I promise, okay? You're doing Promises awesome, promises. though. You're doing awesome, um, okay? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what do you think... And Actually, we'll wind it with this. Um, what do you think happens... About death? In the <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I have no idea. I'm very curious, and I have. I think I have a healthy relationship with my curiosity and death and I don't know I, I have don't no know. I, I, don't I, know. I don't know I'm not gonna lie I have no idea I don't know either I don't know but I'm not think? afraid what do you think like if you were to paint a picture though, I'm not just afraid like, to right? die I don't want I don't like the dying part mm. I'm not afraid to die I just don't like dying mm. I've seen different ways people go and it's I don't want that yeah. And even they said they didn't want it. But right. you don't know. So. so what about these these guys who you hear like... They, I want the pod. I told you I want the pod. The you know pod. The pod, yeah. Okay. And yeah. describe what the pod is again. Oh, the pod is awesome. You go... They only have it in, I think, like three places right now. Okay. You go in... They take your body to a pod. And okay. it's a cylinder. They put you in. They put... Um, like barley and hay and a bunch of other things. Is that a pod, a P-O-D? Yes. Okay. And they push you into the wall. And it's about, I think they said it's like a six-week six to nine-week process that you everything just breaks down naturally. You are actually made into mulch. It's a company mm. that does this. and Oh, that's awesome. It's uh, called recomposting. And uh, I learned that from my one of my death podcasts. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah. Um, and so I... Dude, give a shout out. What's it called? The, the, what's the podcast that you listen to? The, Ask a Mortician. The, Ask a Mortician. With, uh, Caitlin Dowdy. Yeah. yeah. She loves that. Love her. Caitlin, and I if met you hear her, this... She's really sweet. She li that's all she listens to. Um, and so, yeah, so, so it's actually interesting. And then there's places in the forest that need, like, mulch for trees so the trees can grow to give shade over the rivers for the salmon mm -hmm. i mean it's all you know it breaks it all down and it's all it all works together and and we all have to help to yeah. you know continue it so then you're made into mulch you could bring some mulch home and put it in the garden you could put right? me in the garden your right? actual garden i mean you are actually mulch well then to think at about that, that point wow. and then um and then what most, do you think the, the environmentalists think you... will take the rest of it and do put it where they need it gotcha but it's gotcha. not like you're, you're not burnt, you know, you're not. I mean, I did want to get cremated, but then I thought, no, that's too much. It's bad for the environment anyway. If you were that mulch, where would you want to be planted anywhere in the world? Oh, wow. Well, maybe someplace I haven't been but would like to go. Somewhere in the United States, probably. Or okay. Canada. <laughs> I, I want to be a Canadian. Uh, I wish I were a Canadian. Hey. Hey. I, I wish I were a Canadian. I'm, I'm bad at that one. Um, yeah, so someplace nice. Probably Montana. I, like, I did like Montana. Bozeman. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, you know what? Montana. Okay. All right. That, I'm taking notes. We're taking notes here. Okay. We were able to go through so much in the past, what, three hours? <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. No, thank you for your patience. You know how, how studios can be. You know, we we had a challenge after another after another, but we made it here. True life. <laughs> we made it here. And thank you for you for bringing me here into this existence. You're welcome. <laughs> I think I think that was that was pretty cool. I think people were going to just relate and connect to, to stuff like that. Yeah. What do you hope people get from it? Oh, I don't know. I hope they don't think I'm a total idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. And who cares if they do? Yeah. yeah. You know? I know, I know. It doesn't. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just not a type of person to do this. I know, stuff. I know. This is a huge... 
leap for her to uh, to do this, and I really, I'm I'm very appreciative. You're not that, helping. That you <laughs> that you've done this. So thank okay. you. So hey, we're gonna get into a uh, a okay. segment called Rapid Fire. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, and I have a few questions for you. It's you know either this or that. Okay, it's it's all different things. And, uh, it's not just this or that, but it will be other questions too. But you have to answer it as quick as possible. You know, remember when we were taking the selfies, okay, you press yeah. the button. Okay, Two as quick as possible. Selfies took a pass. Remember Two when we selfies. were in Amsterdam doing that? That was so much fun. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Mrs. Cornwall, are you ready? I'm ready. If you could be any sea animal, what would you be and why? Oh. Sea animal, come on. Oh, an otter. Why? I don't know. They're cute. They're cute, okay. <laughs> One thing you can't live without. Oh, air. Air. <laughs> Cha-ching. Put that up on the board. Any you. superpower, what would it be? Ooh, I would want to be in two places at once. What? That's a good one, dude. All right, daytime or nighttime? I like nighttime. Yeah, I like too. dark. Me too. Uh, favorite kind of flower? Oh, lilac. You know, oh, lilac. Ooh, shouts out to all the lilac fans. Like Best Harry Potter film slash book. Because, oh, you, you know, you're a bookie. I, yeah, but Harry Potter. I, I Which don't one? Know you don't have to name the The first name. one was good. The first, first one. one was, got, okay. was the OG, one that shout out to me. the OG uh, HP. All right, last movie you cried to. Oh, God. What was it? What was it? Where were you got? You were I don't <laughs> you mean the last movie. I saw, like in the movie theater? No, it doesn't need to be the movie theater. Just any anywhere. Oh, Probably I, at home. I wanted to watch. Rapid Fire. Oh, oh. You cried to. Uh, uh, Oh, um, Terms of Endearment. There you go. Okay, you ready? Most unique instrument. Oh. Uh, um, uh, unique? Uh, unique? Okay, uh, unique New, New York. York. <laughs> unique instrument. There's a Brazilian instrument that has, it's, it's like a, a bow, it's bent, and then it's got a wire. And it's got a ball at the end, and you, you hit it and tap it. I don't know what okay. the name of it rapid is. Okay, rapid fire is yeah, out, sorry. Of, out of the... <laughs> sorry about that. It's okay. Not very okay, you ready? Fire. If you had to listen to one song for the rest of your life, oh, what would it be? Um, it would probably be... I do like Here Pardon Comes the Sun or Blackbird. Ooh, okay. But, well, Planes, Beatles, trains, but. or automo automobiles? Mmm... A good road trip. There you go. Nice. New Testament or Old Testament? I don't Scratch know either. That. <laughs> Favorite Sorry. color? I didn't grow up Catholic. Favorite color? Catholic. I like, I don't know. Come on. Teal's pretty. Teal. <laughs> Favorite curse word that's not really a curse word because we know you don't like curse words. Oh, dang. <laughs> dang. Man. What's one thing uh, you can't live Jesus, without? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph is what I say. But Jesus, Mary, One Joseph. thing what? You can't live with. Oh, we said air. Yeah. We, yep, we did that one twice. But that would also Favorite be. member of the Beatles? Oh, that's a tough one. I do. I always did like John Lennon, but George Harrison and Ringo. Who doesn't love Ringo fire, and Paul? Fire. I can't. Oh, no, okay. Can't pick. Can't pick. That's, the fifth, that's, please, the fifth, the fifth There you go. Good. The fifth What's one? my spirit animal? I don't know. Do you have one? I, I do. You do? You know what it is, right? What? what, would, what if you would have guessed what it would be, what would it be? A spirit animal? A goat? Yeah. A goat? I don't know yeah. why. Yeah, oh, greatest of all time. Yeah, That's is, why. What, what is your spirit animal? It's a goat for sure. Nuh -uh. What is it? It is. Do it I is, have one? It's, dude. What's uh, mine? Your spirit animal would be Oh, a, it's what you make it up no, to be? No, oh, then you wouldn't be. Your spirit animal would be oh, an, an elephant. I don't know it would be. Because you're wise, you're wise and, and, and you, you remember I'd be an everything. Owl. I'm not that heavy. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> okay, wait. You walk into a casino right now. Oh. What's the first game you're playing? Oh, well, now that I knew how to play, I do like roulette. Oh. I like roulette, but, but we did play, um, what is it? What craps. is it? Craps. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, with Bill. Craps. Yeah, that was Ooh, a lot of fun. But shout there's out a to MK, lot of, MK. There's a lot of activity going on during these things. I, roulette's my, I can, my yeah, jam. I yeah, can do that. my jam too. Okay, best duo. <laughs> uh, the funny one that just came to my head, but I won't say it. Uh, best duo? Yeah, oh, yeah. gosh. Um, I, 
Um, oh, um, um, Simon and Garfunkel. There you go, yeah. Simon and Garby. Okay, name one you know, Pokemon. You know, came to my mind. What, what? It's Captain and Tennille. <laughs> I don't know Who? why. Captain and Tennille, you never heard of them. I don't They're know. way before your time. Yeah. Some people may. Okay, we're going to have to do research that on that. Okay, name one Pokemon. Oh, Pinkachu. 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 You got that one. All right. Yeah. I thought you were going to struggle on that one. No. Favorite subject in school? Um, Let's I rapid like fire science. this. Let's get this. Science? Science nice. Is good, yeah. Perfect. East Coast or West Coast? East Coast. Nice. If you could pick any season, and it could be all year round, what would it be? Summer, winter, spring, fall. Or fall. Fall. fall or winter. Cold fall. Cold, cold fall. fall, yeah, because you like, like the cold. Yeah, I like What's the cold. one thing you've always wanted to do but haven't? Just off the top. Well, that, what came to mind was that suspended camping. You know. Oh, be oh careful. sorry. Be careful. Out there. Suspended camping. Yeah, did you ever see it? Where it's is it? It's pretty cool. It's like on a wire and you're camping. You've seen it. You're sleeping. The wires like from one mountain to another mountain, and you're in the oh, yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. We've seen it. I don't know if I do that, but maybe we, you could talk me into it. Okay, if you could spend 24 hours with any celebrity, who would it be? Rapid, Dead or rapid. alive? Um, alive. Oh, uh, probably he'd be fun. George Clooney. George Clooney. Yeah, hey, he's shout handsome, out to the Clooney mice. He's smart. I like him. Okay, I he'd like. Be entertaining. I, I like him. Yeah. All right, worst pizza topping? Oh, probably chicken. Oh, chicken. chicken. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Doritos or Pringles? Oh, Pringles. Almost, almost done here. Spinners or Spreewells? Both. Both, nice. I don't know what that nice. is. Nice, good answer, good answer. <laughs> uh, scariest villain? Scariest villain? villain. Like, well, yeah. Villain in like, a movie or, or real know. life? Uh, like, no, like, no, no movie, movie. Scariest villain. Oh, uh, um, uh, Dracula. Dracula. Oh, that's yeah, a good one. Pretty... Least favorite food. Uh, lima beans. Lima beans. Cut them out of the diet. Favorite friends cast member. Um. If you left. I like. I kind of like. Oh, I like Phoebe. Phoebe. I knew Phoebe's you would say. Fun. I knew you would say that. I like All right, coconut or pineapple. <sighs> Ooh, that's a tough one. Isn't it? There should be a versus song. Pineapple. Pineapple. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. such a good one. We could have a whole hour on that. Okay, Star Wars or Star Trek? Ooh, Star Trek. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. Coffee or tea? Tea. Mountains or the beach? Mountains. Mountains. If you could choose where to be born and live your whole life in that place, where would it be? Ooh, uh, Switzerland. Ooh, Switzerland. Nice. <laughs> Good job with the rapid fire. Being that was fun, fun wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Those are good, good ones. Yeah. Like, dude, coconut or pineapple? I mean, like. Pineapple. Dude, that, that'll cause a riot. <laughs> that's a good thing. Why? <laughs> what would you say? Pineapple. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I, I'd have to like. I think there's I, more juice in a pineapple. So if I was on an island and I'd be thirsty, I'd rather have a pineapple. Yeah, but coconut water is better for you. Okay. So it's like there's one that's better for you, but, but then pineapple's there's one... bigger. You'd get more food out of it. You're Maybe right. Maybe not. There's You're... a lot of coconut meat. In Listen, coconut. this is a good opportunity to shout out to the RP Hotline. Tell them about it. What is? I don't know anything about it. What? It's the hotline that people can call and they can ask questions. They can tell us whether they love. I coconut. don't want to know. Oh, uh, but they want to know the coconut or pineapple yeah. thing? That's cool. Coconut, yeah. Listen, call great. in. What's the number? Tell them the number at the top 443 292 There we go. 443 292 We got our own hotline, dude. We Nobody's got our own cell phone. Right it's, just now, sitting right? in a, it's just sitting in a corner. This right isn't now. on live, right? This is live. It is this live. is in front of like 6 million people. Hey, shut up. No, not yet. Not yet. No, so not yet. Not yet. Okay, RP Please. hotline call. And if you heard any of those questions and you wanted to, to give a unique answer to one of those, give us a call one more time, 443-292-2677. Coconut or pineapple. Okay. All right. Listen, I think you were awesome. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for give me having me. Give me a give me a hug. I love you. I love you so I love much. You too. And love I want to thank you for 
bringing me into this world. Okay, better that than you not liking me for that. <laughs> oh, I love you for that, and I will thank you for that until... The day I die. The day, the day you, you put die. me in the pod. In the pod. You put me in that pod. You better tell Daddy. Oh, I will. Well, he's, he's, gonna, he's probably payment. watching the live version right now. <laughs> so he knows, dude. No, well, put, listen, mm. thank you so much for, for okay. being here. I know you were a little bit... A little? A little, you know, anxious and, and hesitant. Very uh, uncomfortable. At Might first, but it wasn't. It. Tell me though, like, was it as uncomfortable? No, it was as you fine. It was, it was be? fine. Nice. It was fine. Awesome. It was fine. Well, I think this is a perfect way to, to close it. it out. Yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right. Love you. Love you too. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Right. And we will catch you. Love you later. Bye. And don't forget, respect your perspective. Mm -hmm. brr, brr, brr. A wall. Oh. A wall. Cheese. A wall. Here, hold it still. Growing like the roots do, we've been getting deeper. Growing like the roots.